kids that people think are cute, but are not. Let's talk about the poor Sharpe. For these guys, their problems start right from when they are puppies because of the massive amount of excess skin that are on their faces. Puppies' eyes open about two weeks old. Imagine how amazing it is to see the big wide world for the first time. Not for a Sharpe. For an enormous proportion of them, those excessive facial faults make the eyelids curl inwards and rub really painfully on the surface of the eye. And a massive proportion of puppies have to have surgery really early on in life to tack the skin out of the way. It is so normalised that this is a stock picture of a Sharpe puppy and that little mark just under its eye is a stitch. Those stitches do come out after a couple of months once that poor puppy has grown into its facial faults, but that is not the end of the problem that this breed have with their skin. They basically have far too much of it and it is unnaturally thickened as well. These x-rays show it really beautifully. You can see the bones in the middle and all those weird folds around them. That is skin. In a normal dog, you wouldn't even expect to see skin on an x-ray and look how clearly it shows up for the Sharpays. And that skin is really, really sensitive, so a huge proportion of Sharpays suffer with skin allergies and infections which are painful and itchy. They also struggle really commonly with ear problems because those teeny tiny ears also have teeny tiny ear canals and that added together with their skin sensitivities leave them extremely prone to ear infections and other issues. And to top it all off, they even have their own specific breed disease which shortens their lifespans. So yeah, maybe they're not so cute after all.